This week, my dad talks about being the boss, and Ellie and I work on some new decor projects. I decide to paint some cardboard boxes with DIY paint because I don't like wasting wrapping paper. Some of it was a success, and others failed. So many failed projects. I asked my dad to build a plywood floor to save money, but he decided decking was better. We switched roles. I used to be the boss. You still you know, are. Gabby, do this. And Danielle, do that. Now it's but Dad, I, do this. I do, I do not talk to him like that. I just need to say that I ask him, Dad, this is the plan for the day. Can it be done? Sadie, did you get something good to eat today? Good girl. What about Levi? Is he a good boy? Absolutely. Not. <laughs> my shop is really cute, but it's tiny. I needed my dad to build a plywood floor so that all the extra furniture we have can be stored safely out of the weather. I wanted it done on a budget, but he had other plans. He's arguing with me. This is what we do every Monday. Ellie comes over, we have a meeting, we plan the video for the week, and she reminds me to smile when I'm on camera. And so we just had our meeting and we narrowed it down to a few projects and I thought I would share with you which projects that we're planning on doing. I have all these little pieces of furniture from the dollar store. I was thinking I could do teeny tiny little furniture projects on them and maybe add tiny little molds and transfers. How cute would they be hanging on the tree? That's idea number one. Idea number two is this. Got these boxes at Home Goods, and I love them because you can use them over and over again. Usually I wrap my gifts on Christmas Eve because I put it off to the last minute and I get brown paper bags and I write with a Sharpie. It's the lamest looking wrapping you've ever seen. I don't like wrapping gifts. Oh my gosh, I could put the gifts in here. I don't have to wrap it. And then we can be using it over and over again every year. I went to Michael's and I found these. These are a bunch of white nesting boxes. <laughs> Look at these. I was thinking I could paint the boxes and glitter the lids and maybe stamp little designs on the lids and could give the gift to the person. And then after they open it, I could be like, give me the box back. And then I could reuse it year after year. And Ellie didn't like that idea. Nobody would want to spend that amount of time painting a box when they could just wrap it. I love this idea. What do you guys think? We got these from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> for only a couple dollars. So we're gonna put the link in the description, but they're like pop-up magnetic blank uh, DIY boxes. We used our highly pigmented non-acrylic artist paint and DIY clay paint to blend on top of these cardboard boxes. I will put the link to both of those in the description box. The paint went on perfectly. Some of the boxes were shiny and required two coats. The boxes that had matte paper just went on with one coat. We got a little dish of water because we are occasionally dipping our brush in water. We don't wanna actually spray the box because it's made out of paper and we don't want the paper to warp. So we're just dipping our brush in the water to help the paint move across the surface because it is very thick and pigmented. Ellie, are you mocking me? She's so cute. I'm mixing the color Love Language straight into the cottage colors to make it a little brighter. And then I'm using straight Love Language to blend into the original color. Our DIY paint brushes are the softest bristles you will ever find and they make it perfect for blending. Debbie? What? How are you gonna get your house back? <laughs> I really want it back. I don't know. These are the half-made deer. I don't want to make any more deer, but I feel bad. Those look bad. <laughs> well, they're half-made. Maybe somebody wants these deer. Like we could list them on the website for a couple dollars and then someone can turn them into cute deer. She's so kidding me. No. Such a dirty look right now. <laughs> How <Please>. do you? <laughs> I can't throw them away. I will you. throw them away. <laughs> no. God. Oh, Ellie, somebody really wants those. This is the hoarder in me. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. And you guys can leave a comment about how much you hate me. <laughs> what was this project gonna be? These I just thought were really cute. 
So you just had to buy them? No, I was gonna glue them in the little bottle brush trees I painted, but then I never did. I'm definitely not gonna throw those away. We can give them to Goodwill. We are working on the third box. So far, we have this one done. I painted the lid. We should give them coat of wax. I definitely think we should put a sealer on them because it looks painted. Well, they are painted. I wanted to try applying the inlays to the cardboard boxes. I was doubtful because I had tried it on cardboard before and it didn't work. But honestly, I was too lazy to drive down to my store and get the stamps. So we tried it again. I've seen it work on fabric. I've seen it work on plastic and wood and all kinds of things. So let's see what happens. Doesn't look good. <laughs> How do you feel about it, Ellie? I kind of knew it wasn't going to work. <laughs> you did? Why? I was a little suspicious about using the inlay on the cardboard box. Yeah, because you need a harder surface for it to adhere to. So. I mean, it sort of looks good, but not... You have to really press the inlay down and the cardboard just isn't hard enough. It's okay, but... No, it's really not okay. No. Honestly, this is the hardest part about making videos because there's so much behind the scenes, so many failed projects, and it's really frustrating to have an idea and then spend an hour on it. And then have it turn out like this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Ellie and I decided to get into the car and go down to the store to get the IOD stamps we needed for this project. The sun was going down and it was a beautiful drive. Okay, we just got to the store. Every year I don't like to give cards because I feel like it's kind of a waste. So I got these, they look like a Christmas card, but they're actually seed packets. This is Elysium seeds and they say Merry Christmas. So you could tie these to the top of your box. You guys want to grab some of these? They're on our website, DIY a go, go Look how cute. Which color is your favorite? Mine is... Glow Up and Love Language. This is IOD's newest stamp. It's got like a cute little bakery and a bicycle and you can do little houses. It's called Portobello Road. Cozy stamp. It's got like a little latte. It's got the butterfly stamp. I love butterflies. <laughs> Used all those Portobello Road stamps on these little tags. Rosie did these. Cute. cute. Jamie Ray used the seashell stamp for this one. There's so many different stamps. I love this tile stamp. I feel like this can be our new storage area. Like if he if he makes a wall back there. This would have to be a 180 situation. Yeah. You guys gotta stay tuned for this one. And then we made it back to my house just as the sun was setting. But before I get into the rest of the week, here is the rest of what happened on Sunday. <laughs> We just had keto cookies. They look like this, but they taste really good. Danielle added eggs to them because they're dry if you don't. Tell us about your YouTube channel. If you guys want to learn how to shape surfboards, because I know most of you guys want to learn how to do that, head over to his channel. Yeah, I've learned that I'm really bad at shaping rails. Go subscribe to Zach Flores. Kind of a big deal. It would mean a lot if you support us. Yes. Our whole family. Please. Sadie, we're going to get our toes done. We're going to go get a pedicure. You want to come? I am going into Free People. I love their jeans. My niece Emma loves Free People too, so I'm going to see if I can find some gifts. It's Tuesday morning. I have two things that I want to accomplish today. I want to try and fix the jadeite ornaments that were a fail last week. This one looks pretty good. The key with the jadeite ornaments is to make them look shiny and to find ornaments that have geometric patterns. I'm following Mama Bear Blue's tutorial. Problem is, all I could find this year were 
clear plastic like this and it doesn't have the geometric shape so it just doesn't have the same effect. These I got at the dollar store last year. I can't find them anywhere. What I did find was a bunch of plastic ornaments with geometric patterns, but they were already painted, so I had to paint the outside. They don't have that glassy look because the paint is on the outside. I tried two, three coats of Big Top. It's just, it's not shiny enough. And also, I need to fix this one because I didn't get enough paint on the inside. I am resorting to another product that we that we don't sell with DIY, which kind of breaks my heart, but hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I went to Michael's and I got this high gloss spray. I think it was $7. Also got this from Liquitex, which is a brush on high gloss. I'm gonna try both of them and we're gonna see which one works the best. Liquitex costs twice as much as the aerosol spray. Aerosol sprays are faster and easier to use, but they also smell really strong and I got sick from spray paint, so I avoid it if possible. The other thing that I need to do is finish the boxes. These are our inspiration boxes from Home Goods. So far, so good. I think they look pretty cute like this, but we need to stamp them, put some designs on them, add a bow. So I've got a bunch of some IOD stamps that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter and that is the plan for today. You don't see me using stamps very often in my projects. They intimidate me a little bit because there are various ways to use them. When stamps do go right, they are really fun and beautiful. But when they don't go right, they can be a little bit frustrating. You can apply the stamps with ink or with paint. You can use a brayer or you can use an ink pad. I found that the easiest way to use the stamps is with an ink pad. But of course I didn't remember to bring one so I'm using a sponge instead and this actually worked out really well. I think the sponge worked out the best because you're pressing the stamp onto the sponge and the pigment stays on the upper levels of the stamp as opposed to trying to brush the stamp with paint or using the brayer. When you do that, the paint can get down in the low spots and you can lose the detail. I'm using diluted white glue and glitter to add some sparkle to the edge of my boxes like my inspiration box. I am using the seashell stamp from IOD for most of these projects and our new non-acrylic artist paint. What I love about the sponge method is that you can rinse out the sponge easily and put a new color right on the same sponge. Our new artist paints are heavily pigmented, they don't contain any plastic or filler so they can be blended, and they're made like traditional old world paints. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. I am drinking my coffee and I'm getting ready to start the day. I'm gonna finish up the projects that we're working on. Here's one of the boxes that I did. Another one, this is the inspiration box right here. So I need to add ribbon to it. I like how there's polka dots on the side. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. First, I have to finish the coffee. If you're curious, I use raw milk. I grind my own beans. I put a tablespoon of butter in my coffee. I use a French press. And this is my most favorite thing right here. This one is called Simple Taste. It was given to me as a gift. They're great if you like a lot of foam on your coffee. My foam will come up over the cup about an inch. My friend Rita gave me this one. It's the best one. It doesn't wear the batteries out as fast. And I even have a backup one. I don't ever wanna buy the other kind again. So if you like to use these, this will be life changing for you. I started the day by finishing up my jadeite ornaments. I applied a coat of red paint to the lids because I wanted to put gold wax over that and this makes the gold even more gold. I hung them to dry on my deer head because I didn't have any other place to put them. There is a link for that video in the description box. Now I'm applying our awesome gold wax and the details just really make these ornaments come to life. I'm using Baker's twine and I am hot gluing some red ribbon from the dollar store to finish off the look. Out of the two top coats I used, one of them was definitely better than the other. I did use three coats of one of the top coats to get the super shiny jadeite look though. 
Happy Thursday. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe for Christmas. Levi and Dan working on the decking. <laughs> Levi is helping out. Are you filming? I am. <laughs> is Levi ex inspecting your work? Yeah. Yeah, he's helping me. Good. <laughs> All right. Then I decided to make a bunch of pom-poms. You'll see why coming up. I was kind of dreading making the pom-poms because I had done it years ago for a video and I never made that video. I never finished that video because making the pom-poms was very tedious and it took way longer than I thought. But then I found this new tutorial on Pinterest and this method was so much easier and very therapeutic. I am gonna link that tutorial in the description box, but it made all the difference. I will explain more later. It is Thursday morning. I'm trying a new format, like checking in every morning and telling you how the video is going so you get a more behind the scenes of my creative process. Every time I do a project, I learn something new. This is what I have learned this week. Yesterday I worked on finishing up the boxes and I'm super, super excited. Look at how pretty these are. I have doubt every time I start a project, I'm like, there's no way it's gonna look as pretty. I'm not gonna be able to like it as much as my inspiration box but look at this I was literally just like resisting the process I knew that I needed to use the stamps but I don't like using the stamps because I feel like I'm not very good at it when I initially put the stamps down I wasn't that happy with them but once you add the glitter and the details and you go in with a tiny brush I mean come on how cute is that oh my goodness these aren't quite finished yet my plan is to tie everything down with the yarn I wrap the yarn several times just around the lid of the box this way you can open and close the box without messing up the design of the wrapping paper and it's a reusable gift box i tied the pom-pom to the top and then I got out the end of a pencil and dipped it in the artist paint to make the polka dots like my inspiration gift box. But the other lesson that I learned was I was done with the stamping and I was ready to go to Michael's and find some ribbon because I didn't like any other ribbon that I have and I have a ton of ribbon. And then I had a conversation with myself. Debbie, you do not need any more craft supplies. You need to use what you have. Thank the Lord that you just said that. You just saved yourself because I was about to get so mad at you if you went back to Michael's to buy more craft supplies. I know that you have more than enough. All the ribbon I had just didn't work. And then I realized that I had yarn. I did this one with the yarn and I realized that I could use the yarn and that way I'm putting my own spin on it. Like this one isn't done yet, I'm gonna wrap it. I legit like my boxes better than the ones I got at Home Goods. And I pushed through the process because when I stamped the butterflies on this, I wasn't that crazy about it either. But then once I added the glitter, I was so excited. Excited. And now I'm super excited about these boxes and I just thought they were gonna be a mwah, mwah kind of project, but no, they're good. Two lessons, push through, don't give up, use what you have, and remember that it's all a learning process. So even if you don't end up liking it in the long run, it's still good. It's still exercising that creative muscle. So I can't wait to finish these up. I also finished the jadeite ornaments yesterday. I'm gonna show you those coming up. That's it. And hopefully I didn't ramble on too long. <laughs> These boxes turned out so pretty that I may never use wrapping paper again. I intentionally used the butterfly stamps and the seashell stamps from IOD because I wanted to use these boxes not just for Christmas but for other occasions. The links to all our stamps are in the description box. This batch of ornaments, I gave three coats of the Liquitex, and you can see they're pretty glossy looking. They're probably the closest to the Jadeite, and this is the brand. 
three coats. These are the clear plastic ornaments that the paint was poured inside. Super shiny. I did have to pour it twice because the first time there were some spots. If you can find these, these are the easiest and the best results. And this one is pretty close to that. These are much easier to find. And these have three coats of the spray gloss. I hate the smell of spray and you can see that they're not nearly as shiny. If you compare these two side by side, you see that this one over here is much shinier than this one. So I'm gonna hang these all on the tree now. There are a few other ornaments hanging on this tree that you will see coming up next week. All the boxes, the paints, the molds, and the stamps are in the description box below. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Madeline. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store, click the link below and subscribe for more beautiful home decor and DIY projects. Moment I laid eyes on you Every breath was a gift Felt like I was living